Hi, I'm Erica Rose Jeffrey, and I'm one of the directors of Dance for Parkinson's Australia. And I am an advocate for dance, well-being, and quality of life initiatives. My Parkinson's story starts from my work as a teaching artist and dancer, and really looking to see what benefits, social impact, my work in the arts might have in other areas. I first started my work with Dance for Parkinson's in the United States, and then when I moved here in 2013, started to work with communities across Australia to look to see how we can include opportunities for movement, uh, physical activity and creative engagement with the Parkinson's community. So Dance for Parkinson's is a community-based initiative that provides dance classes for people living with Parkinson's, their partners, carers, and family members. We work collaborative, collaboratively with teaching artists, musicians, health professionals, uh, volunteers in many different areas. Um, and we have a lot of fun together. So one of the things that we think about in our dance classes is the idea that in our classes there are no patients, there are only dancers. And we're all striving to improve, expand, explore uh, creative opportunities, imagination, as well as, as different ways of moving. When we think about uh, Dance for Parkinson's classes, there is a whole body of research. Uh, now, in the international community, there's over 38 peer-reviewed research studies about the benefits of dance for people living with Parkinson's. And these include many elements, such as physical benefits, cognitive, emotional, and social benefits. So, in our classes, while they're not focused on Parkinson's, they have many benefits in terms of the ways in which we address um, the symptoms of what people are living with when they're living with Parkinson's. Uh, participants in our classes also share uh, stories about how it can be a really positive experience for engaging with um, loved ones, family members, and carers. The idea being that coming to the classes is an opportunity to uh, participate in a fun activity together, uh, perhaps uh, remembering uh, wonderful experiences in the past, but also building new experiences together that are around uh, creative engagement, fun, uh, creative exploration. Another favorite story of mine uh, has to do with a participant really thinking about their own uh, how they're understanding their own body and thinking about it in terms of um, things to consider and work on. So in our classes we might often focus on uh, foot stretches or uh, patterns that we're doing with our feet and that awareness that people are, are picking up and that sense of confidence that people start to, to build when we practice sequences over uh, multiple classes and learn new steps and ways of moving together. So the idea of um, building new skills and, and pathways to movement. Um, we do have a lot of fun in our classes and explore many different ideas. So I have to admit that recently one of the dances that we were doing was connected to the motorcycle exhibit at one of the museums here in Brisbane. So we did do a whole motorcycle dance. So there's a full variety of activities that we do. Now when I think about dance, there's a lot of things that I see as a dancer, but there's also the stories that participants tell me about their experiences with dance. So there are many stories, um, but some of my favorites include the idea of how people look at dance in different ways. So for example, one participant shared with me that uh, after participating in dance classes, that she was thinking about reaching for items in her kitchen and she saw something up high and she thought, oh, I'm not sure if I can reach it. But in our dance classes, we reach and we stretch and so thinking about extending the range of movement and if we do it in dance class, I can give it a try. Um, why not? Um, we invite people to come and try out our classes, give it a go. I always say that it's much more fun to try dance than to just talk about dance. So we encourage you to give it a go and there's lots of opportunities to engage in our resources both online and in person. Across the state, many of the in-person classes have resumed 
including here in Brisbane, our ongoing class at the Queensland Ballet, which is Sundays at 11.30, and we have fabulous live music for that class as well. We have regular online classes uh, and can also link participants up with opportunities that are happening across the country virtually. Um, we are also looking at uh, further opportunities to engage with community, so if you have questions, please feel free to get in touch. We have information on our website at dancepdau.org, or you can also find us on Facebook.